This is a quick tutorial on how to use the Cronus widget on Android and specifically Android 4.4 KitKat, although it's very similar on uh, other versions of Android. Firstly, I've just installed the Cronus application and if you go into your app drawer, you'll see it in the app drawer. If you haven't placed a widget on any of your lock or home screens yet, and you try to open Cronus, you'll get a message that says you have to place at least one widget and you will be taken out of the app. You have to place a widget first before you can configure it. Now, one of the things that people always ask is, how do I add a widget to my lock screen? If you look at the default Android lock screen, and so this is Android 4.4, you'll notice that it's the standard clock and there's no way to add additional uh, clocks or widgets to the lock screen you have to turn it on. Now, just a key point, lock screen widgets are only supported on Android 4.2, 4.3, and 4.4. It's not supported on Android 4.1, and that's a limitation of Android, not of Cronus. Um, so if you have Android 4.1, you're out of luck. You can only put Cronus on your home screen, um, but fortunately for 4.2 and later, you can add it to the lock screen. Now, to, uh, to add a widget to the lock screen, you have to enable it. And uh, this is different for uh, different devices, the Samsung devices uh, and uh, uh, LG devices, etc. You have to turn it on in slightly different places. So I would suggest that you uh, Google and search for uh, how to enable lock screen widgets on your device. I'm running a version of CyanogenMod on this device. So in CyanogenMod, uh, you turn on lock screen widgets in the lock screen section of personalization. Uh, on standard Android 4.4, you do that within security settings. On the Galaxy S4 and the Note 3, there's a different place you need to turn it on. Just Google and find out the way you turn it on for your particular device. In my case, I'm going to go to the lock screen settings and I'm going to say enable custom widgets. So this will allow me to now add widgets to the lock screen. You'll also notice that there is a maximized widgets setting uh, that you'll, I'll show you in a few minutes um, once, you've, once you've got a widget placed. So now going back to the lock screen, I now have the ability, if I slide to the left, to add a new widget by pressing on the plus and then selecting the widget I want to place. You'll see there are several Cronus widgets, the calendar, clock, flex, flex, analog, forecast, and weather widgets. Uh, you'll notice some of these widgets also have a little pro flag next to them, which means that uh, these are only available for pro version uh, of Cronus. So if you don't have the pro version, you will not be able to place those widgets. I'm going to go ahead and place the flex widget. As I select it, it takes me into the configuration. And in the configuration, I have the ability to set clock and alarm settings, uh, whether it should show the date, etc., whether the hours and minutes should be bold. I'm going to say but the hours should not be bold because this is Android 4.4 and the bold hours was an Android 4.2 and 4.3 uh, look. Uh, it can change the color of the font. There are certain features that have the Pro indicator, which means they are only available for the Pro version. I'm not going to talk about them at this point. The weather panel, you have the ability to set your weather source, uh, Yahoo, AccuWeather, or Open Weather Map. Uh, you have the ability to change the icon sets. You'll notice, for example, there are three sets included, colored, monochrome, and vclouds. The modern icon set is a pro-only version uh, uh, feature, and the flat, vista, realism, and other icon sets are icon sets available on the Play Store. So if you go into the Play Store, you'll see it'll do the search for you, and you'll see there are different icon sets that you can choose from. These, however, are paid icon sets. You don't have to buy any of these to use the app. Uh, if you choose to, you can add them in. I'm going to stick to the color set for now. Uh, the other setting I'm going to just enable is my calendar. So I'm going to say I want to show the calendar. I'm selecting the calendars I want to show events from. I'm going to do a uh, four-week look ahead. And I'm going to leave the other settings as is, but you can change colors, descriptions, you can uh, change all kinds of settings around it. And now that I'm done, you'll notice that the widget is on a lock screen. Now, one thing you'll notice right away is that it's the, the original clock is still there. You have to remove the original widget. That's the first widget next to your camera widget. 
in order for the Cronus widget that you just added to be the primary widget. You do that by pressing and holding on the widget you want to remove, drag it up to remove, and there you go. Cronus is now your main widget. Now, one thing you will notice right away, and this is a standard feature of Android, is that the widget will show in the minimized format and your lock or unlock is maximized. To maximize the widget, you drag down on it and that'll show you the rest of the information. So to see the calendar, for example, you need to show the Cronus widget on the lock screen maximized. In the minimized state, it's hidden. This is not a bug. This is the way it works in Android. Now, if you want to show your widgets as maximized by default, there is a feature that has been added to some custom ROMs, and CyanogenMod is one of them, where you can show maximized widgets on the lock screen. So I'm going into the lock screen settings for uh, CyanogenMod, and I'm going to say maximize widgets. And now, when I go back to my, my lock screen, as I turn my device on, it is automatically maximized, and my full widget information shows. Pressing on the lock, we'll just maximize the lock again. Um, to unlock in CyanogenMod, not many people know this, you just press and hold on the lock and you get to the unlock state. Now, to add widgets to the home screen in, in uh, Android 4.4, it's very simple. You press on the button on the dots, select widgets, and you select the widget that you want to place. I'm going to do um, the analog widget just for the fun of it. Brings up the same configuration. I'm going to turn on the calendar events just for the fun of it. Um, and I'm going to do the same events. And just for the interest sake, I'm going to select a different set of icons. So I'm going to select the monochrome icons for the weather. And now I have the analog widget on my home screen. Now, press and hold on it will give you the ability to resize the widget. And you'll notice as you resize the widget, things will shrink and or hide if they cannot be displayed properly. So the calendar will only display if there's enough space to show it. Uh, if you don't have enough space, the calendar panel hides, etc. So once you've placed your widgets, make sure you go in and you resize them to fit properly and show the information that you want to show. To configure widgets after they have been placed, if you remember last time we went into the Cronus app, it told us to place some widgets and then it exited. Now, what you've, what we've placed widgets, you can actually go in. If you open it up, we have the ability to now configure, and you'll see at the top here, we have the ability to select the one that we want to configure. We've got the lock screen flex, and we've got the analog flex, and I can go and set these individually. So if I go into the analog flex again, and just for the fun of it, I'm going to change the color of the fonts of my events. So I'm going to pick um, a light orange color for my um, font color and my details just for the fun of it I'm going to mix a custom color I'm going to select color on the side I'm going to drag it across I'm going to give it a little bit of alpha transparency um, and I select OK 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 go out back to my widget and there you'll see the colors have been changed on the font for this widget where if I go back to my main screen lock screen widget the colors are still the same so that is how you configure different widgets um, within the Cronus app. That's a quick overview of the Cronus app. I hope you enjoy it and uh, thank you very much for installing the app and have fun.